In this section, we've been looking at how some parts of the supervision cycle uh, workers can be blocked. And in this particular scenario, we'll be looking at how you might help a worker who has been blocked at analysis. Ian, in this case, is a fairly newly qualified worker. He's very highly qualified and has come very highly recommended through his references from university. He has taken on the case of a very chaotic family. The father has been, uh, is an alcoholic and has been drinking very heavily. The mother is affected by mental health problems and depression. They have a daughter who has a disability and recently their son has been involved in various uh, thefts, uh, has been involved in violence and has been uh, picked up by the police on several occasions. The issue is the boy within this family who is actually at risk of being uh, coming into conflict with the law and being taken off to prison. Ian has been allocated this case and at this point in the supervision session we are looking at this particular family. Okay Ian, so we've looked at um, these other families now. So, so how did you get on with the visit to uh, the new family that were allocated? Well, I think um, I got introduced and uh, I can see the, the, the dimensions of the problem, you know, or the problems, I think you could, uh -huh. you'd have to say. I mean, it's, there's certainly a lot going on in this family. Uh -huh. So what kind of uh, issues have you identified within the family unit itself? Well, issues, yeah. I mean, it, to be honest with you, Irene, it's, it's a case study. It's like a case study for our country in terms of traditional gender roles. Ah, it right. It really okay. is. You know, the father, I mean, he's drinking a lot, it seems to be acknowledged, uh, but he's very dominant. And the mother just, you know, she looks at him, you know, if, if there's any, if I'm asking a question, you know, she, she doesn't give an answer mm -hmm. probably that she wants to give. But uh, yes, I think we're in dealing with very traditional family structure here. All right, and, but what do you think is actually happening between the, the, the parents in the family? How, how is the mother feeling about the situation with the child, do you think? Well, uh, I mean, again, he's a, he's a typical uh, teenager on, on one level. I mean, he's got, it's getting a bit out of hand, but uh, I mean, uh, again, like many youths, you know, rebelling against their parents, it's a, it's a normal form of development of the, the teenager, uh, you know, adolescent rebellion. And, you know, I think uh, that that's a very significant factor here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think uh, his mother no doubt uh, loves him, but, um, Yes, he, he's certainly, well, I, I think there's the, 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 the father's influence there. Mm. Uh, can can I ask you, can you just, um, how did you feel going into that family when you went in to visit? What, what did you actually feel? Well, obviously you're, you're struck by the poverty of their circumstances. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, these are people from the, the poorest 10% of the country. I mean, this is when we studied at university. Uh, I say this is almost a case study of, of that poorest 10% mm, yes. I can, who do I can form understand, yeah. over 90% of the referrals mm -hmm. to, to social service yes. offices like ours. Yes. So, uh, I mean, in, in some ways they're very typical can of I, the Can I stop families. you there for just a moment? I, I do appreciate that this is actually the client group we're working with. Mm -hmm. And it's great that you've picked this up because these are very relevant points. Um, but to go back to my original question, how did you feel going into that family? Well, I mean, having recently completed my master's qualification, of course, I'm thinking about assessment, you know, when yes, I go uh -huh, in. So uh -huh. I'm, what I'm assessing C can I the stop material just a, a circumstances. Moment there, just well, well, another moment. I'm just answering um, your last question. But. Um, if we're talking about feelings, feelings. How did you, f when you went into the house and started talking to the parents about their son, who is at risk of being taken to prison now, what were you feeling? What were you feeling? Well, I mean, I'm trying to stay in a very professional role here. I mean, this is what our training prepares us for. Of course, I'm uh, sorry about the circumstances this family faces, uh, no matter how typical they are and how stereotypical the relationships are between the mother and the father. Of course, I'm, 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 I'm feeling sad. Uh, you know, it's You're a very difficult- So you were feeling sad? Well, uh, th there are circumstances typical of, of uh, poor families in our town, but uh, you know, their house is probably, you know, one of the worst I've ever seen. Yes, so, so um, exactly, you, you again have identified very 
um, relevant points there. But you were you to come back to your point and maybe reflect for a moment on that that feeling of sadness. Um, and how do you think the family are feeling and dealing with the fact that they have their their child about to be taken off to prison? Well. <laughs> It's very hard to know, uh, to be honest. I mean, mm -hmm. as I said to you, the mother's not saying very much at all. And the father, well, you know, he's not always making a lot of sense. But, yes. uh, you know, so the, he, he answered my questions. But, you know, when he, he doesn't really seem to know what his son is doing. And, I mean, he said he, he, he wants to make sure he doesn't get into trouble. Uh -huh. But uh, he doesn't seem to have, I don't think the father has much insight you know, I, I think the effect of the alcohol, because as we know, alcohol uh, poisoning really mm -hmm. can lead to brain damage. And I, I think what we're, we're really seeing here in the father is elements of brain damage. Yes. Uh, so what, what kind of questions were you asking at the visit? Well, I, I was trying to ask the father if he understood uh, the seriousness of the situation facing So you were son. trying to ask the father. Did, did you actually ask the father? Well, I asked him if he, he knew uh, that his son had been uh, picked up by the police and, and what he was doing about it. Ah, right, okay. So uh, when you were asking the father what he was doing about it, what, what kind of response did you get? Well, <coughs> I mean, he, he didn't say much, you know, he, to be honest, you know, he, he didn't seem, t I mean, he said he, he, he was concerned that his son would, would might be taken off to the t detention yeah. centre, but uh, he didn't really seem to know yeah. what he was going to do about it. And, and so he, so he let's, let's try something then. Try and put yourself in the father's position and someone is coming in like yourself and saying, what are you going to do about it? How do you think you would feel? Well, I mean, it's, it's our job. You know, I mean, it's our responsibility. To come back to the question. Come to back to the question. Well, it's our responsibility to carry out an assessment. This is a family which has many challenges. Mm -hmm. Our job is to do the assessment and to do it in a professional fashion and then to submit the report to the relevant authorities. So, I mean, I'm focused on carrying out my job to the, the, in the correct manner. And, and uh, to come back to the question. What was your question? <laughs> the question was, if you were the father, and one of the things that we're taught as workers is empathy. So if you were the father, how would you feel about someone going in and saying, what are you going to do about it? Well, of course I have empathy for him. How would you feel? 